Okay, you guys, so stay tuned. It's going to be a very long video, maybe. Oops, I just hit the whole thing. Okay. I was casually walking in the Toys R Us one today, and I was looking for a Barbie. I was looking for the one... There you go. I was looking for the one that had... It was Endless Hair Kingdom or something like that. Hair Kingdom Barbie. It was something, something to do with that. Then I seen an uh, Instagram shot. It was She was fully articulated, and she had a costume on, and she had long flowing blonde hair, and I was like... That's sweet. I need, I need, really need to get that one. So I was just casually going through Toys R Us, right? I did. I went to Toys R Us and I went to um, Walmart. Walmart didn't have, so I went to Toys R Us. I waited until ten o'clock when they opened. So I just went to Walmart, walked around, you know, whatever. And so I went to Toys R Us. I walk in. I'm just browsing the Barbie aisle. Um, so and then I'm saying oh, they don't have nothing new. I turned the corner of the doll, you know where they had like that end cap where they have all the new stuff? They had the new fashion packs there. They had the boho, uh, the black girl boho. So I canceled the order that I had with um, with Mattel's, with the manufacturers, because it was the same price. It was 20 bucks for the boho doll and the curvy Barbies. Let me show you them real quick. So I bought them from, from, um, from, well, um, Toys R Us. Yeah, Toys R Us. And this is the black girl. This is the boho. You know, the boho doll with the, um, you know, she's really hippy dippy trippy. So, her, she's named, um, number 45 Boho Fringe. So this is Boho Fringe. And you could see her hair is kind of flippy, um, bewitched, flippy hairstyle. And this is, they have her having like a fro, but she doesn't have that fro. She has long, silky hair with little flips on the bottom. So it's kind of like wavy. 70s hair, you know, they have some fake, um, um, suede or something like that, that they were going for, tank top, bell bottoms, it comes with a pair of flats, a purse, and she is a flats, flatsy doll, so, I'm sorry for the glare, you guys, but it will get better, I promise, but, um, so this is this one right here, I bought this one from Toys R Us, she was 20 something dollars, I'm gonna give you up close looks on everything, and I bought, this one right here, this is the, this will be the last fashion piece of all on dolls that I like because these two are the only ones that I was debating on buying, but the rest I'm like, oh, they're okay. And this is the Kirby Barbie right here. This one's the plus size Barbie doll. Let me see if we can get a closer look. I have to pull the camera closer so you guys can see. But um, that's a little bit better, huh? So she's got some denim type jeans, tank top. Um, this is a print. This is not an actual bow, is it? Yeah, it's a print. So this is not an actual bow, it comes with a dress, and it says on the um, t-shirt, it says blogger, which is what I'm doing right now, blogging. So, and she is a pito shoe girl. She is, has a big, chunky donkey shoe, which I don't get. With curvier Barbies, I would think they would have had a little bit better choice of style. So you can see it's very chunky, and it's very, I wish it was a lot skinnier shoe. Um, she does come with little sneakers, look how cool, look at them sneakers are so dope, look. Let's see if we can get it. Mm, don't worry. I think it's this lighting is crazy as crap right now. But she comes with a white pair of sneakers, um, um, a bag, an extra bag on her arm. And she's got a blonde, of course, with chunk kind of highlights in it. And she does come with a, a negligee on her neck. A necklace, which is very pretty. That's better. So you can see her. I want to put this one on a, on a blue haired Barbie, I think. I'm gonna leave, I'll leave these dolls in their original outfits, the ones that I collect up there. And I tend to take their accessories and put them on different dolls. Or I have this gigantic bag of like all of them dolls right there. I keep all their accessories in little bags. And I have them all in one big storage bag. And I keep them all. So I'm going to open the black girl first. And her name is, she's number 45 and she's called Boho Fringe. If you didn't get a good close-up look at her, this is her right here. Very flippy hair. Nice flatsy shoes, very flat shoes right here. She's very boho, like if I was a chick, this is the kind of clothes I would wear, like very flowy and chiffony and print, just very hippy dippy trippy, you know? I like clothes like that. So, let's take a look at her. All right, so let's take a look at the Barbie doll first. And she is beautiful, but they only have like typical Mattel quality. They only put the print fa fabric in the front. And the rest of it's just plain, so I guess it was cheaper to do it like that. But nonetheless, it is a pretty good quality material. It's very flowy. 
I love it though, it's beautiful. Let's, let's take a look at the Barbie. So she's got a really pretty face. Obviously not as Afro-ish as I would like it to be because I would like it to at least look, look like the picture. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You guys like how Mattel does this airbrush Photoshop picture where her hair is flawless. And it's in this big gigantic fur and they didn't really do that with this doll. I intend on collecting her so I don't really manipulate the hair after I take them out the box. They go straight on the shelf. So the hair comes crazy, it's going to stay crazy. So. Um, so this is a face, very beautiful, very minimal makeup, just like the rest of them. She's got this very boho, bohemian type fabric. Very, very cute. I wish this was like a real fringy thing right here. This is imitation fringe. It's a basically solid plastic purse. Let's see if it opens. Yeah, it's like fake fringe. I kind of wish it wasn't though. This is very bohemian type fabric. And it's got the little straps on the top. Look at the shoes, how cute. I love everything about this doll. You guys, sorry for this white wash, but I mean, I'm so you more interested in a doll. But, um, so this is her shoes. They're very sandaly and cute. And it's like fake fringe on the bottom. And it has the straps. Let's see. The straps are on the back and it'll focus. See? Very, very cute fabric. Shoes. Awesome. This is the fabric on the back. Look how crazy this is. This is solid white. You think they could have at least did uh, um a nice print fabric or even pink just to even match it a little bit i think that's that would have been made it a little bit better quality than what it was Let's try to get this camera focused this camera is just whitewashing me out right now this is crazy but if i go like this look let's see oh that's better okay but you could see her though she's very pretty very beautiful very like bohemian type fabric she's a nice color tone to her skin not like the the one with the short hair which had the different tones she's very matching in my opinion but um she's got these really cute shoes though very bohemian looking it's just very cute though in general so um we're gonna get we're gonna take a look at her very beautiful outfits that she comes with she does have a little tint of red in the hair so let's take a look at that it's like it's brown, okay, and then it's got like red tint in it. I don't know if you, you can't really tell, but she does have red tint in her hair, which is very pretty. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. Sometimes this lighting is just crazy. You really can't do nothing about it. But um, she is pretty no, nonetheless. She is very beautiful. This lighting is going to be distracting. So, but um, let's see if I go like this, maybe. I'm just trying to get the. I still ain't got this angle right, you guys. This is this is crazy. Okay. So let's take a look at her other outfits that she does come with. And I have the bell bottoms with the little top that I'm going to be changing her into. So stay tuned, you guys. Definitely stay tuned. Okay, so let's take a look at this um, doll outfit. This is the um, yellow top and the brown skirt. Now this outfit is okay quality. This is like cottony type material, which is nice for a change. This is like a felt. Like that felt that you buy at Michael's, them squares. That's what type of material this is. This is on something I really don't like at all about the skirt. It doesn't have any type of thing. It just Velcros straight in the back right here. It just kind of Velcros. That's it. You see how it's kind of wonky a little bit. That's probably me though because I didn't line it up too well. Yeah, it's a little bit un uneven. Let's see, because I okay, that's better. So um, this is like a felt material. Um, this is cottony. Type material. I would have expected more from Mattel, especially with the skirt. I wish it would have been cotton. It would have been nice. But I guess that they were on a budget in terms of trying to make this doll look beautiful and included accessories for that $19.99 price, which is a little bit steep. But, um, and I got paired them with, with one sandal apparently because the other one fell. Where's the other sandal? That's lovely. Isn't that lovely? Well, she's missing one sandal, but just take a look at the sandals real quick. It has a strap. It's very boho, you know, very, very nice. It has a little thing in the back, which is easy for sliding on and off. That's a stain right there from her other shoes that they put on her. Oops. That they, are, that they put on her previously. So she does have a stain in the, in the back. I don't know what happened to her other shoe. It probably fell on the floor, too. Well, let me get her other shoe. Hold on. That was funny, okay, that was like the one doll she reviewed. Okay, I found that it was on the floor. But um, they do slot on and off very, a little bit easy. This is a stainage from the shoe. The paint that they use did stain the doll's back of her feet. 
which may be you can remove with a little bit of acetone nail polish remover, but it may remove the paint that's on the doll's body. I'm not sure. But um, it is a really cute shoe. Very cute, very bo bohemian looking. I don't like the skirt, nonetheless, but she is very cute and very boho looking. She is very 70s looking, in my opinion. I'm not from that decade, but I would imagine a 70s doll looking like this. So, and I paired it with this bracelet. So let's take a look at these bell bottoms. They have a bell bottom and like a, a tube top and just lace on the bottom. Just craziness is happening with this doll. I mean, besides her little effects that she has, um... Things are not going to be made perfect, obviously, coming from a factory. Being factory made, things don't come perfect. It never does. Oh, and this top right here does not have any type of Velcro, so it slides over the doll's top of her head. Like, you raise the arms up, and you got to slide it over her head and slide it over the hands. Why couldn't they just make a Velcro closure on the bottom, on the back? That would make life so much easier. She has no Velcro closure. You have to slide it over the top of her head like an actual shirt. Which is a little bit frustrating, but you know, you can deal. If you've been from my time, they used to have Barbies like that a long time ago. They didn't have the Velcro closes, and you used to have to do all that. So, anyway, let's take a look at this bell bottom outfit next. So stay tuned. Okay, now let's take a look at this bell bottomy outfit. Very cute uh, top. Once again, they have no Velcro on the back whatsoever, so you can you're gonna have to slide it over the top of her head, which is very frustrating because it tends to make the hair a little bit crazy and mess. Um, this is the purse that this came with. This is one of the accessories. Um, and this is the bell bottoms that she does come with. They're flared out on the bottom. Very cute sandals. Just very 70s. Uh, Velcro closure on the back of the imitation denim. It's not real denim, obviously, because it's a Barbie doll. Why would they put real denim? And it's very, very nicely sewn together. Very cute. Just very bell bottomy. Very 70s. I mean, this is, like, so cool to have a 1970s themed doll in this time. But, um, I think she's beautiful, you guys. I'm going to end it right here, and I'm going to do another separate video with the curvy Barbie. That way, they don't kind of, because it's a lot of accessories, and I don't want to make this video too long. So, if you like this doll, just give it a big thumbs up down below. And just remember to like and subscribe, and you'll see more doll videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.